Okay, so I think my heater bulb is probably, well, it's not probably, it is leaking. Yep, so if you look at that, yep, it's really wet. And then down there, down on that splash hill, I could see like uh, moisture in there. So I think what I've been seeing for the last few days is that my coolant is actually leaking and then checking the level here. Yep, I couldn't see anything. So let me prop up the hood. really nothing I don't see any pink coolant in here So, I'm gonna probably buy a heater bulb. When it's warmer. As for now, I'm just gonna watch out for the coolant level. Make sure that there is coolant so that uh, I'll avoid overheating. Add a little bit of coolant on the uh, tank. Still have some left. see some pink stuff in there let's start uh, removing this uh, 12 mm bolt here that holds the inverter this one and this one so I jack up the car on the other side and then uh, uh, basically the hose one of the hose there on the bottom of the heater valve is actually connected to this the one that goes to the uh, uh, what they call that this uh, cylinder uh, called the, the coolant heater uh, storage yeah. so it's easier to actually remove the hose over here than than down there at the heater valve once you remove it here you could just like pull it out once uh, those two upper hoses were removed so it's basically easy um, you just have to remove one of the screws in here and one in here and then the other one in here three screws to it all and then you just open it up yeah only three screws yep only three screws you don't need to open up everything and in my case since i lose a lot of coolant when i open this one uh, there's a there's some like a drain screw in here <laughs> nothing actually comes out uh, I'm pretty much low in coolant because of the leak so yeah I think when I probably take out this hose most of the coolant will drain out so I have my uh, extra jug in there and uh, and some uh, <laughs> and 
some spout, a funnel. Actually, not that much space when you put this up. Um, some videos actually will show you that you have more space to pull this up, but in my case, yeah, it's really tight. I think there's a bolt out there. So, um, but I think this is enough space to to pull out the header bulb. And what I noticed is that um, I only have one one screw in the bracket that holds it. Yeah, that one over there. Only that one. The top one is missing. Yeah. There's nothing there. And I don't know if this this here bulb is original. One of the hoses out, but um, I have a hard time actually removing these hoses. Um, so I got the uh, the bracket out. It's a uh, number 10 mm bolts on this side. There's only one in my case. Um, and then for this one, I have to take it out because it's really hard to get this connector. Um, I'm pressing the tab, squeezing it, and uh, it wouldn't budge. So basically you have to like uh, release the tab over here to take it out from the uh, from the bracket. And then I could actually like probably maneuver this. Yeah, press this one, it's visible now. Then I could pull this out. So these hoses are actually hard to remove. Um, took me like around half an hour to actually um, I use this tool the problem with this tool is that this is the one that you could buy in advanced auto parts and look at that it's uh, bent uh, because the it kind of clamp all the way in that's the problem so I have to use this uh, smaller smaller pliers to gain access down there I cannot use the big one the big vice kit because there's no space so it's really got it out but I have to remove the hose there so that uh, um, I was able to pull it out and well there you go it's a doorman so uh, doorman is really bad so this won't last I also have to like uh, disconnect or uh, cut the wires so that uh, I could also have more space so yep it could be done but a lot of finagling so I never buy a doorman buy OM replacement part it's an original Toyota I think it has a Denso there's a denso marking in there. Uh, yep, there it is. It's an original part. Yep, and it costs like a hundred dollars plus shipping, which is like around thirteen dollars plus tax. So, yep. I, I haven't videoed the way I pulled it out because the battery died on my camera, but. Um, this I think this is the way you do it somehow yeah like the lower the lower hose is upwards and then I just probably did it this way yep, going down so yep this is uh, how you I put it uh, this is how the way I put it so putting it back is just the reverse gonna be a tight fit but yep, yep it went in easily and then uh, gonna have to finagle it down there so that the bracket will face on that side and that's gonna be the easy part so I put the lower hose uh, the back because it's easy to put it back this way and then I'm gonna orient it down so it's really a struggle to to put the uh, 
the bracket back. Uh, yeah, I got the 10mm bolt there, and the reason why there's no bolt in there because it's uh, it's broken. So uh, one bolt is okay though. I tried like uh, uh, moving the the bracket, and it's so sturdy. So I'm going to put in the connector and then the lower and the upper hose, and then the one down there too, going to, uh, going to the. Uh, uh, storage or the heater tank. So my uh, simple building procedure is to put the engine one and then uh, put coolant in it, put the stack of coolant until it gets no more bubbles. So, yep, this one has no more bubbles and everything is still up in here. And that no more bubbles. Pretty basic, pretty basic building procedure. You don't need to deal with the with a, Beaver over there. This is what it's about. See, there's no more bubbles in here, and it will just close this one. So, yep, I'm going to close this one. Camry, I make Camry, my uh, Prius, actually, the one that I bought really cheap and restored the battery, the hybrid battery for this. And I added the uh, car thing, the Spotify car thing, and it works very well. So, the only thing that uh, is visible here is the wire connected to the power supply. I have a dual outlet power supply in there and and it shows the voltage and then the uh, the Bluetooth adapter for the Bluetooth uh, unit is actually over here for the unit that goes to the auxiliary. So. So this is the only wired connection here, which is for the power. And then I got full battery, got it fully charged. And right now it's 160,337. So I got like more than a thousand miles now using it from the last six months. I mean, probably seven, seven or eight months, I guess, yeah. So not that bad at all.